Welcome to Phoebe's Kitchen, where I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, both in the kitchen and on YouTube. You guys are the ones who asked for this, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared because when I podcast, you can't see my face. And when I'm not podcasting, I make really weird facial expressions. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. So if this even makes it to YouTube, firstly, snaps to Phoebe because I am technologically, what's the opposite of savvy? Unsavvy, there you go. So when I did a podcast episode called A Day on My Plate, I actually have to hum pause there because the cat is crying. So for whatever reason, which I still kind of don't really understand, you guys have been bugging me to start a YouTube channel for a while. And as you know, I don't have a lot of free time, but I thought, why not? One of the questions I get asked so much, which still blows my mind, is the recipe for my zucchini and avocado smoothie. So I did a podcast episode called A Day on My Plate actually months ago. And still to this day, you guys slide into my DMs and ask me for the recipe. So instead of messaging it a million times, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna take you with me while I make it. This is still so baffling to me because all of my friends and family thinks this is, can I swear on YouTube? Effing disgusting, um, but I love it. So I've just been to the gym. I did a weight session this morning, so I am starving. So let's get into it before I get hangry. You don't wanna see that, trust me. So here's what you need. Banana, frozen. Zucchini chips, you just cut them up and you freeze them. Cinnamon, a quarter of an avocado or half if you're really hungry. Spinach, but you can also use kale and the mother. Salted, caramelized, popcorn flavored Botanica blends, which is my absolute favorite protein. So there you go. Just have a look. So I cut up the bananas and the zucchinis on a Sunday and I usually uh, cut up enough so that I can make this smoothie every morning for breakfast because I'm obsessed with it. So if you're an OG listener to my podcast, you will know that I love zucchini probably a little bit too much and I eat it on average two times a day, but sometimes three times a day. So frozen zucchini People think it's so gross to have it in a smoothie, but zucchini actually tastes like nothing and it just absorbs the flavor of whatever you put with it. And in this case, it absorbs the flavor of Botanica Blends Caramel Popcorn Flavored Protein, which is my absolute favorite protein. I do have about three smoothie recipes that I use on rotation. So if this video actually works and makes it to YouTube and you guys like it, then I could do a bit of a smoothie series because I do have another Botanica Blends protein powder for when I want something a little bit chocolatey, like when I'm in a bit of a chocolatey mood. I have a chalk peanut butter smoothie and I also have a cherry ripe smoothie and they are both mwah. But today I feel like a green smoothie, so let's get started. This is really hard and I don't know how I'm gonna do this so that you guys can see it. So I love my Nutribullet. So I do everything in my Nutribullet. So start by packing the frozen zucchini into the Nutribullet. I like You'll pretty soon learn that I don't measure things, I don't follow recipes, mostly because I don't know how. So, I don't know. I like my smoothies to be so thick and creamy that I need to eat them with a spoon. So, about that much frozen zucchini I put in it. Next is the frozen banana. Now, I never used to put banana in this smoothie, but carbs are not the enemy, guys, so I'm trying to eat more carbs, so I'm making sure to have banana and sweet potato Every single day. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Next is the spinach. I also eat a shit ton. So it's looking pretty full already. I eat a shit ton of spinach every single day. So I don't know. You can just kind of pack in as much as you want of the spinach. As I'm really, really messy. Okay, so once that's all packed in there, it will be nice and full like that. Next, you wanna grab a spoon and to balance out the smoothie so you stay fuller for longer, I always add some healthy fat. So you can either add peanut butter or you can add a quarter of an avocado. So I'm probably gonna have some peony as a snack later because I love it so much. So I'm going to use a quarter of an avocado, just pop it in there. 
Mm. It's only me who's going to be eating this, so I'm allowed to lick the spoon. And next, my favourite Botanica Blend salted caramel popcorn. So I just pop two heaped tablespoons in there like that. Oh, also cinnamon. It's really good for inflammation and I like, I get bloated so much. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of cinnamon in, whoa, a little bit of cinnamon. Whoops. Oh well, I love cinnamon. So it should look like that. Now, most people with their smoothies, they will put like an almond milk in there. It just got too expensive. I drink a lot of smoothies and I was going through a lot of almond milk. So I actually just use water now and you actually can't taste the difference. So you, mm, I'm not even going to try and move the camera because it's on this weird little ledge thing. So I'm just going to fill this here with a little bit of water. Now, I don't want to use too much water because as I mentioned before, I don't like my smoothies to be like milkshake consistency. I like them to be like a thick shake consistency. So you can see there, the water level is just under half. So pop the lid on, give it a good shake, and then you pop it on the blender. Guys, I think I bloody nailed the consistency of, oh, it is, honestly, look, it is so thick, it is like ice cream. It's like green zucchini flavored. Hats off to the chef. I'm not wearing a hat because I got my hair done last night, but if I was wearing one, I would take it off to myself. So. I'm pretty sure this is a wine glass because that is what me and my housemate drink the most. So then watch this consistency. Oh. Oh. Guys, I have honestly outdone myself. Look at that perfection. Mmm. Cheers. There she is. Mmm. So delish. Cheers.